Well, sometimes in Alaska, the sun shines several days in a row, and that's kind of been the case this summer, and uh, I don't know anybody that's complained about it. But uh, what I'm going to do tonight is uh, give you an example of uh, some of the things we do here in Alaska to take advantage of abundant sunshine when we get it like this. And uh, sunshine like this is fairly rare. In fact, the first year that uh, I came to Alaska, I was talking to a long timer about the summer before, and he said, oh yeah, he remembered last summer real well. He thought it was on a Thursday. Well, that kind of made me wonder right then, so uh, I've always been prepared for everything. But I got to admit, I haven't really packed that many uh, shorts and uh, flip-flop selections uh, for all the sunshine that we've had. Here on TV, you get to see Hobo Jim singing about uh, Alaska-grown produce, and uh, I'm not going to try to sing it as good as he does, but uh, it's really, really true. One of the disadvantages I have living out here in the bush is that I'm a 50-mile plane ride away from the nearest Superette grocery store. So getting fresh vegetables, Alaska-grown otherwise, uh, or any other kind, kind of hard to get. So this year, I tried a little gardening project of my own, and uh, I'm not known for really having a green thumb, but I do like those greens, and uh, I planted some uh, different varieties of, of lettuce and uh, baby spinach uh, right here in these buckets here on the porch, and it's going to be part of tonight's Alaska-grown dinner on Season Chasers. Alaska grown food is certainly the best and uh, tonight we're going to have some greens from uh, my pickle bucket garden here. Uh, we've got some regular leaf lettuce, uh, we've got uh, baby spinach growing and then the seven kind variety that uh, boy there's all kinds of stuff in here and uh, I understand one of them is arugula and the different people I've had look at this I've had several different opinions on which one is actually arugula. So I just eat a little bit of all of them, and uh, it's a really nice variety. But tonight's Alaska-grown dinner includes king salmon, some Alaska-grown russet potatoes, and what you see here growing on the front deck in the abundant sunshine. Thanks for coming along on Season Chasers. Season Chasers cabin grill, all heated up over here, and uh, putting on some... Uh, russet potato wedges that uh, gave a little kick in the microwave get them started and then I like to pour a little bit of olive oil over them give them a good drizzling of that and uh, put them here on the hot grill the salmon that we're fixing tonight is a really nice uh, king salmon fillet and I put a little olive oil on top of it along with some garlic salt and some uh, cracked black pepper. And we've got a really nice hot grill here. And I've put the spray on the grill, we've got the oil on the fish. And we're going to put that right down, listen for the sear. Oh, yeah. All right, let's give this salmon fillet a turn here. Got some grill marks going on it. Yeah, that's a good turn. Cooking it here on the back side. And might turn it one more time before we're done. We'll see. Mm. Gonna move that back just so it doesn't stay above that flame. Okay, everybody, here's what we got. Fresh Alaska greens picked out of the uh, pickle buckets over here. We've got uh, king salmon with our potato wedges and a little bit of fireweed in the background. Pretty good eating up here in the bush country. We'll worry about the superettes later. But uh, in the meantime, when we got food like this, it's pretty good to go. These potatoes are Alaska grown, and I think I'm going to take them inside and do what needs to be done. Thanks for coming along on Season Chasers. Walker, walker. Tune in each week for some of the stuff you just won't see on other shows. Outdoors, wildlife, and a life of adventure. Being on the lookout for natural foods and making the most of what the wildlife provides. Study, learn, and share the great outdoors 
with someone who's important to you.